Hey guys, Anthony for Before Diesel. Just an update with the rig build, the 2019 Prado, which we've picked up. One of the first modifications is getting the windows done, getting the windows tinted. We've got Daniel here from Tintmobile, and um, he's gonna take care of that for us. Hey mate, what are we doing in this? Anyway? What are we putting on? What's this? Is this legal, this tin here? Well, what I'm doing here, mate, um... I'm going a bit dark. We're going to go a bit darker on the yeah. on the back section. You're allowed to go darker on the back yeah, one, yeah. Yeah, no, so that's it's just fine. the front, the drivers and the passenger. Absolutely. The drivers and the passenger yeah, window mate. that... Um, that's right. Um, yeah, you don't, so you don't have to see at the back window as long as you've got side mirrors or something. Isn't that how it works? Yeah, well, as long as you've got full visibility out of your side mirrors, um, we'll keep the two front doors legal. But then the back, especially if you're carrying your fridge in the back carrying tools, carrying things like that, um, just get a little yeah, bit I more like privacy. Yeah, I like it dark, just for privacy. That's yeah. why I think they do standard privacy glass on most, yep. most trucks these days yeah, yeah. anyway, or yep. cars and whatever. Yep. Everybody likes a bit of privacy. I find driving around naked without the, um, without the tent, you know, I yeah. feel like I'm driving around in my jocks or something. Absolutely. Not that I know what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Um, so that's good. Um, so is this pretty easy to do? Can you do it yourself or? Oh, look. I mean, it's easy, just like, easy for you. Yeah, well, it's just like any other trade, mate. I mean, you can, you can get the basics down if you really wanted to, but it's probably best sticking to, yeah, yeah. giving it to a it's professional. It's not like you're doing it every couple of months. You got to do it once and get it right for Absolutely. years. Absolutely, you're going to do it. I mean, let a yeah, professional do it. You're investing big dollars into a into into a good car. So I mean, you think for a, for an extra couple hundred bucks, you might as well yeah. get it done properly. So yeah, yeah. So to get this done on the Prado, yep. I haven't even asked you. What's the price? Oh uh, look, something like this, something like this, you're looking around about three hundred and eighty bucks yep, to okay, get done. Cool. No dramas. Bit bit less for smaller cars, bit more for bigger cars. Yeah. Um, and obviously all my work comes with a full lifetime warranty as well. Yeah. Nice. Um, work is that transfer to the next owner or is that just yes, with the yeah, 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 whatever, yeah, it's yeah. Full trans yeah. fully transferable. So is that metallic tin? Is, is that what it is? Is that metallic? It's a metalized film. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, it's a yeah. metalized film. There's yeah, no, so it doesn't fade or whatever like the old no, ones used to. No, there's yeah. no dyed polyester. I don't use any dyed polyester yeah. films. Yeah. Um, technology has come a long way over the last few years and, and you'll find that the old film that turns purple. I mean, there are still people that do get that sort of stuff off eBay mm -hmm. comes mm -hmm. like cheaper cheaper quality films yeah, but yeah. You get what mate, you pay for absolutely yeah. it's like anything mate you get what you pay for but um, no all the film that I use comes with a full lifetime warranty so yeah. it'll never fade or discolour or anything like that so, so we're obviously in Melbourne mm. what areas do, you know we're northwest what yep. area do you cover around Melbourne you know what sort of yeah, well, how look, far do you go I'll, like you said I'm based in the northwest but I'll go out as far as Geelong Oh yeah, head so out to the other side. Into Geelong and that. Yeah. What about north up to Doreen? North Would you go to Whittlesea? Yeah, even further. I do a lot of work out in the Kilmore area. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, Broadford yeah. as well. I do a lot of work out for the boys in Broadford. So within a hundred k sort of thing. If you go to the other side, wouldn't you? you the go other to Warrigal, side. You wouldn't really go as far as Warrigal. Uh, Would you go to Packenham or try look, not to? I mean, it's a bit far, isn't it? Yeah. It's it just depends. I mean, there's no point. For me personally, there's no point heading all the way out Driving there all day, just yeah. to do a year. I understand, yeah. You know what I mean? That's so it. if it's worth if it's For worth sure. the trip, if we get a couple of cars out there, then yeah, we'll make a trek out there. But no I dramas. mean, there's no point heading out there if someone rings me and says I've just got a I've got a U two doors to do. It'll take me that's it longer to get there than to do the car. So all right, but no yeah, worries, look, man. just. I'll let you get on with it, get no some worries. work done. All good. All right, guys, so we've been using Daniel for decades, and he does an awesome job. Service is good, good value for money. So that's who we're recommending. If you need to get your windows tinted, give him a call. I'm just going to let him get some work done. We'll come back to you. I think I've got some more questions for him, but I've got to work out what they are and um, we'll give you some contact details. So one other thing I um, forgot to ask you, with the... Um sun protection sort of thing like i yep. remember back in the day before we even had tinted windows yeah you know the driving arm the right yeah. arm i don't yeah. know about yours yeah. well, yeah. Mine have got, you know the sun whatever the it's you know, probably going to get skin cancer <laughs> on that one that's it yeah. so that's what i mean besides driving around naked yeah you need that sun protection yeah, if you're spending time in the car so 100%. what sort of sun protection does it give yeah. you yeah well as far as the heat and the uv protection goes the film that i use it's all top of the line it all comes with a 99 percent uv rating yeah, yeah, yeah. um so you're sun, not going to get sunburn even if you're sitting not. there all day no no whatever, yeah. no well the, the the film comes with an spf rating of i think it's about 260 oh yeah i yeah. mean the sunscreen these days we're yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 50 yeah, so yeah. yeah the spf rating on cool. this is about 260 good, yeah. um and it's it's actually endorsed by 
some of the big cancer mm-hmm. governing bodies yeah. around the world. So, yeah. so it's yeah. a bit of a no-brainer to have all your windows done. Oh, you look, especially if you've got little kids in the back, um, just for just for the uh, safety of your kids yeah. and for your loved ones, mm-hmm. you'd be stupid to to jump yeah. in a car these days, especially with the Australian heat that we're feeling these days. The the, the sun's getting hotter mm-hmm. and. Can you, can you do the front windscreen? Is that no, legal? No, that, that's why. That'd be pretty it's, silly, it's wouldn't it? Because you wouldn't be able to see out of it, would you? Not just that, mate. It's it's just Australian standards yeah. with a windscreen. They are very strict with what you can do on a windscreen. So, yeah, yeah you just want to stay away from tampering with the, with exactly. the integrity of a windscreen. At least these ones have got with the radar in the middle of the windscreen and that little brown, that black sort of hashed out area. Yep. You don't get the sun coming through between the sun visors and that lot of years doing some gas. Yeah, well, that's what those, so those dot matrix good, designed yeah. for that. So when you pull your visor down, you do have that little spot there that, yeah. that, that's designed for that. So. Yeah, cool. So, so we said before, it's only the front two windows that matter. Obviously, because at, when it's night time... You can't see out if it's like, yeah. you know, too dark. Yeah, well, with, with something like that, you'd have to get in touch with your local areas just because Australia, the, the they do have different rules for oh, really? different it parts of Australia. Oh, so, yeah, for instance, right. if you get your windows tinted in far north Queensland yeah. and then bring it down into New South Wales... Might be different. The, yeah. yeah, they're different. Yeah. So Wouldn't you be best if everything to, was the same in the state? It'd be yeah, nice, so. but unfortunately <laughs> there is a there is a grey area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're best to get to the get get in touch with your local area. But here in Victoria, um, we do have our we do have our legal limits as everyone does on the two front doors. But yeah, we're going to go a little bit darker on the back section, as I said earlier, cool. just to protect. That's it. Privacy, mate. Privacy. Privacy. Don't look at me. Yeah, absolutely. No, all good. <laughs> Car looks good, so it draws too much attention, eh? Wait till we're done with it, it's going to be an absolute beast. Um, what other cars do you do? Is there any cars you don't do, or you do all sort of well, makes mate, and models? I've been doing this for 24 years, so there's not too many cars that I haven't yeah. done. So I do all makes, all models. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't matter. If awesome. there's any old film on it, I'm happy to remove the old stuff and yeah. start again. So, no worries, yeah. yeah so, no, I'll, so people have got, you know, if it's got never done right in the first place, if it's yeah. bubbled or faded or yeah. damaged, whatever, it's easy. You know, I mean, for you, yeah. when I say easy enough, you can get it off and redo yeah, absolutely. it. absolutely. And I use, like, when I strip the film, I don't use any chemicals, I don't use any yeah. abrasives that'll mark the door trims yeah, or, cool. or stain, your, stain your leather interior or anything like that. I just use soap and water and a bit of elbow grease and a steamer so we don't damage the demister bars when we take any yep. of the old film off. So, awesome. Yeah. All right, mate. Like cool. I said, I'll let you get back to it again. All good.
looks like we're nearly done, mate. That car looks heaps better with the windows done. Um, so what, precau any precautions I've got to, you know? Do the yeah, mate, tip? yeah, there are a couple of do's and don'ts. First of all, just keep the windows up for the next 48 hours. 48 hours, yep. okay, so today's, uh, today's Friday, 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 so Friday Sunday, Sunday, Sunday yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday um, lunchtime. Don't clean the glass on the inside for the next week or two. Yep. And when you do clean the film from now on, um, I just use water normally, like perfect. a chamois water, so no Microfiber chemicals. Microfiber cloth, a chamois, yeah, yeah, yeah. a clean cloth. Just stay away from Windex, stay away from any ammonia-based sprays or any chemicals. Yep, yep. Besides that, treat the car as you normally would. You can wash it straight away, you can drive it straight away. If it rains, it's not going to affect it, yeah, obviously, because cool. everything's on the inside. So, yeah, happy days. Yeah, cool. Yeah. What's the chances if I put the windows down tomorrow, would, would the film come off or something? Oh, look. Or? might be lucky or you could be that one unlucky try. person i mean 999 times out of a thousand nothing's going to happen but i mean for instance yeah yeah see, okay there you go risky captain risky but i mean because <laughs> years ago when i used to work in car dealerships and that they yeah. used to recommend 24 hours so i thought no that's yeah, probably yeah. enough but weather plays a part as well yeah. in summer park it out in the sun park few it out hours in the sun will right, help yeah. speed up the drying process yeah. but yeah i just tell people just to be safe yeah to keep your warranty cool. um just keep the windows up for 48 hours and and yeah we should be good makes sense no worries so, yeah, so one out. other question i've got other vehicles like you know obviously these are pretty big vehicles yep. a, lot of, a lot of glass and yep. film and whatever what's the pricing like on you know other you know i suppose at the other oh, end look, of sedans it and just utes ranges and all that. yeah it just ranges from a from a single cab ute a couple hundred bucks all the way up to a to a people mover yeah, right. You could be so there's no at really price. exorbitant prices like six ninety five, eight ninety five, or no, eleven ninety five, like no, you're mate. getting dealerships. No, no. Okay, no, cool. no. All right. Well, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to send a few guys your way, mate. Appreciate, Appreciate it. your um, cool. service and work again, and no I'll worries. see you on the next one. Thank you. We just had the windows tinted from Daniel, a tint mobile. Been using him for a long time, as I mentioned earlier on the video. Awesome guy, awesome service, awesome job, and good value for money. So what else do you want? Um, hopefully you got his phone number there. If not, just backtrack it, and his details are there. Just to remind you, he's Melbourne-based, so around Melbourne, north, west. So north or west, you know, he'll travel a little bit. I did have a bit of a joke with him. He said he'll travel anywhere in Australia. So if you're in um, Broome and you've got a Lamborghini and you want the best tint, fly him in, take him on a fishing charter and uh, maybe he'll take care of it for you, no charge. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, see ya. Super impressed with uh, how this vehicle came up with the tint. The last thing I wanted to say is the usual, guys. If you want to follow this rig build, what we're going to do with the 2019 Prado, our recommendations and what products we do and don't use, Make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on. That's the little bell. You'll be notified when the next video comes along. So we're going to keep providing all our usual 4x4 and diesel and vehicle information. But it's also going to include this um, 2019 Prado rig build. Again, thanks for watching. Have a nice...